This is the 718 Cayman Porsche. It's very fast, it's very cool, and we're gonna talk about it here on a video on YouTube. This is the 718 Porsche Cayman. And today we'll be talking about the specs, do an inside review, and take it for a drive. So just to, we'll start with the powertrain of the 718 Cayman and to start things off, this thing's powered by a two liter flat four uh, turbo, um, which is actually the first time that Porsche has ever put a flat four turbo in the Cayman. It's usually run by a six, uh, flat six, uh, like the 911 used to be, or currently is. And um, this thing puts out a 300 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. Um, and when I looked at the the website for Porsche, um, it went into little like you know kind of gimmicky features like the the intake system is a resonance intake, which basically means that it's an air intake. It doesn't mean anything special. Um, it's got a compression ratio of 9.1 to a to one. Um, it's probably a lie. I made that up. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's fast. Zero to sixty happens around four and a half seconds. A top speed is 170 miles an hour. The cool thing is that the top speed on the uh, speedometer goes to 175, so you can actually technically see this thing go all the way up to like the end of the speedometer, which is pretty cool. Uh, not many cars do that. They usually go up to like 240 or something super ambitious that will never be even like hit unless you know once you start the car and it does the whole like span through the speedometer. But yeah, that's that's a nice little feature whenever you have the chance of taking up to 170. Um, in terms of the uh, the chassis suspension, it's got a McPherson front and rear strut uh, suspension set setup, um, four wheel disc brakes, of course, um, anti lock braking system, which is obviously a, a standard because of you know we live in a day where you know safety requirements are higher than they were back in the day, so that, that is uh, that is expected. Um, what else we got? Uh, it's got a dual rear exhaust. Um, Dual tips. Usually, there's like kind of the base model has the just a single like uh, ovular outlet. This one has two, which is pretty cool, and it's blacked out in this model. Um, I'll put some B-roll on there. You've probably already seen it. Um, and what else? What else have we got here? Um, it's got variable steering, uh, electrically controlled, electrically actuated variable steering. Um, and man, this thing turns. It's super responsive. You just you know you point it where you want it to go. Like right now, I'm, I'm pointing where I want it to go, and you know the steering wheel works, obviously. And, and that's, that's a good thing to have in a, in a sports car. Engine's right here, so you guys can see the engine. Um, I can't give you guys an overview of the engine bay because it's covered by this carpeting, unfortunately. Uh, but I'm actually gonna do some sick shots of like the inside, the wheel well. You can actually linkages, steering linkages, control arms, um, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, it's just super cool because you can hear the engine, it's super loud. Uh, when it starts up, it's, it sounds kind of weird because the starter's like right to, to my left and yeah, it just sounds like very distinct because of that. Um, in terms of aero, it's pretty simple. You got our side, our side inlet ducts. Um, we have a rear wing that actually actuates. I'm gonna pop that up right now because of uh, downforce. And um, yeah, I don't know if this thing has any type of torque vectoring um, or if that's even important at all, if it needs it. Um, Cause yeah, this thing's pretty neutral in its handling characteristics and yeah. So in terms of creature comforts, we have uh, heated seats, uh, dual zone climate control. Um, there's no navigation and for like a $55,000 car. The fact that it doesn't have navigation kind of sucks. But even though it's not Apple CarPlay, so you, you have an iPhone or an Android, which I assume a lot of people do. Chances are you're watching on this. And if you're watching on an iPhone or Android, thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, 
we'd really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. It's not like we have a production team or anything. But, you know. Uh, so, yeah, they don't include navigation in the factory. It's weird, but whatever. You can deal with it. Uh, it's got an off-roading, off-road section in this for some reason. It shows you compass, but it also, when you click on that, it says off-road feature not enabled. So, there's just some weird quirks in this car that I didn't expect um, when going into it. But as you drive in, as you just start to, you know, play around with it, you notice these things. Um, seats are super nice. They are manual, which is fine. I don't care. I don't want the seats in positions and positions not. You're gonna have to adjust it. Um, so, but yeah, it's super. You can make it really low to the ground. You got good side bolstering. It's leather, so it's very nice and uh, comfortable. Um, and yeah, the steering wheel. Oh my god, the steering wheel is so cool. Uh, it's fully leather wrapped, and then you got the like 918 inspired uh, steering wheel. We'll do like an inside shot. We'll put that in here. Um, then you got your paddle shifters, and the funny thing is, I remember when I like sat in a Porsche like the LA Auto Show last year. I tried one of the 911, like sat inside it, and the I remember the paddles being very like like it was the, the throw to the paddle was actually very far, and now it's very like short, it's very instant. So I don't know if they're trying to like cheap out on the paddles, um, or they just want your shifts to be a little bit faster. Regardless, it's gonna shift faster than you ever are, and yeah, you shift for fun, downshift, upshift. Uh, PDK, you know, you've heard all about it. Super fast transmission, um, and yeah, the dual clutch system is weird at times. Like if you're trying to like, let's say, creep into a driveway, it will kind of get confused a little bit because you want to creep just a little bit more, you know. But it wasn't know whether to hit the brakes or start to slip the clutch. It obviously doesn't want to slip the clutch that much in order to not wear out your clutch because you have two clutches and that's kind of a heavy, you know big ticket item from, from a maintenance perspective so they don't want you to wear those out really quickly um, but yeah the drive other than that man it, it gets up and goes like it will turn right here all right and we're gonna do some pulls so stay tuned for that in the next clip Alright, so we got on the freeway where it's safe to do pulls. I'm gonna slow down to like a decent speed. And I'm gonna go up to a decent speed. Um, Alright, let's go down a couple gears. So that's what helps all the aspects of the car from braking to cornering to, to just accelerating And it's got all the power you need. Yeah, 300 horsepower is something you can get in like a Mustang Base model V6, but it's the power delivery and the way you can use that power in this car that makes it worth its its value um, So yeah, we're gonna do some uh, exterior, more exterior shots Put in some b-roll and we'll call it good. If you guys like this video I uh, appreciate the, the comment, like I, like I say a bunch of times. Just gotta plug it, you know, always gotta plug the YouTube video. Um, and yeah, if you guys wanna see another car next, I'll try to actually get in the car and do a review of it. If not, I'll be in my, uh, my super fast, super furious Scion TC. And uh, I'll still talk about it, you know, so at least you'll get my opinion. If you value it. If you don't, watch Doug DeMiro, he's great. Uh, he always does a good job. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.